Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on Render. Uh, was needed. I, I have covered Render quite a bit in the last um, in the last couple of weeks. I know a lot of you actually hold and trade Render. Uh, so uh, so it, I, I felt like it was worth it. I mean, basically, <clears throat> Render has been on my radar since this bullish momentum here at the start of September. I am um, like, there's a couple of things I want to say about it. I mean, first of all, Render is a great project. That's that, that's the thing I want to start off with. It's a great project. It has a long future. It has real utility. Now, I do think that this price action is a little bit shady. Like if you take a look at this, th this, this has to be done by some sort of a high fre frequency trading algorithm. Like th this is not normal price action. And then like this price action is very comparable with this price action as well. It just seems like uh, render is manipulated a lot. Uh, which doesn't matter, all right? It doesn't matter. Could still be bullish, could still be bearish, but I do want you to know that. And also, if you take a look at the volume, like there's a lot of volume coming from from Top Credit, from CTEX, from Coin Tiger, Super X, some Turkish uh, volume. Usually, like usually, that's a confirmation for for manipulation. But like I said, it is a great project as well, and obviously, the the bullish momentum from Bitcoin has helped render a lot as well. So whether it's manipulated or not, it doesn't matter. And I throw that word around a lot. It doesn't mean that much to me. Uh, but, um, but, 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 but the fact of the matter is, is render is bullish. All right. And now it's at its, its last resistance, or at least not its last resistance, but it, it's a pretty strong resistance around 2.25. Broke above $2 earlier, uh, earlier this week. Major bullish breakout, continue to the next key level. And at this moment, I mean, we have to be honest. If, if you're taking a look at render technically, while I'm looking up some other numbers, uh, there's nothing bearish about this, all right? There's absolutely nothing bearish. At some point of time, it will probably fall back a little bit or it will pull back. But for that, it, it needs to find a significant resistance level. Two point, uh, technically right now, render is at 2.15 and 2.2 here, uh, here on the daily time frame. It is a strong resistance level, but for now we, we've not seen any bearish confirmation. All right, so we have to assume that the most likely scenario, and that's also like, like if you take a look at the open interest and the volume, render is pretty neutral. Like there's nothing significant going on right now over the last month. Uh, also not even, all right? So so it's, um, it's, it's a bit of weird price action, but given this, these technicals, and I almost have to cough, but given these technicals, like the most likely scenario has to be that render will continue going up. Excuse me for me. All right, we're back again. I hope I edited that out. But right now, I mean, the most likely scenario for render is that it will continue. All right, it's um, it's a little bit reliant on, on what Bitcoin does. Like it is quite correlated to Bitcoin, as you can see. About 85% over the last 30 days, which is quite a lot. Um, but uh, so, so it is dependent on Bitcoin. I mean, if Bitcoin falls down towards 32,000 and 31,300, which at some point of time is expected, then render will follow. All right. Then render will drop back down towards $2 and probably find some support and consolidate uh, right there and then await the, the further direction of the market. So that is a possibility. Uh, but I have to say that, that it does look most likely that render will just continue. All right, so that it will break above 2.25 and get up towards 2.35 and then which is a, a minor resistance level and then probably rally up towards its the, the, the main resistance level and price targets at 2.45 and 2.5 which is also a big psychological resistance level of course uh, so that looks most likely but I, I, I do i mean i do want to stress that it's friday it's the end of the month like big traders, funds, market makers, they will close their positions. I very much doubt that they are short. So they're going to close long positions. So that's going to cause a, a pullback, right? Either, either today or in the weekend or somewhere early next week. So if that pullback comes, render will follow that, right? So I do want to stress that at, at this moment, there's nothing bearish on render. But if Bitcoin starts falling a lot and starts getting a bearish confirmation, the situation is completely different. And then it's more likely that render will fall down towards $2. All right, so keep an eye on that. But that's my full take. All right, so if you do have any questions, let me know. And apart from that, I also want to tell you that I have my own premium slash signal group in which I share all of my trades. You'll get daily trading setups. 
but you also gain access to an amazing community full of traders and my trading guide. So if you want to make some profits while becoming a better trader yourself, consider joining. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great weekend and bye.